the MDGs uh, are a program that seeks, uh, however inadequate, to address poverty uh, in our world. Uh, we know that the fundamental objective uh, of the Millennium Goals is to halve the people who live in extreme poverty by 2015. And I think that poverty is the greatest scourge that we have in our times, something we need not have, have uh, because our God is a God has provided for our needs. And in fact, the world is in surplus. Uh, we have had so much uh, economic growth, technological growth in our world, the gifts that God has given us. And therefore, as God's stewards, we need to be sharing equitably in what God has given us. And, and I think that the recognition by world leaders to, in 2000 that something needs to be done is a commendable step. Uh, but it's one thing to make the statement, it's another one to deliver and implement. And so the more we galvanize people towards um, uh, the realization of the Millennium Development Goals, all the better for us, because all of us have got a responsibility to ensure that everyone who is created in God's image with dignity and worth has all what is essential for human living, such as accessibility to food, to clothing, uh, clean running water, education, and so on and so forth. Uh, and it is a, a, an imperative of the gospel, because our Lord Jesus Christ came in order that we may have life and have it in abundance. And in fact, his program of ministry, as outlined in Luke chapter 4, verse 16, followings, uh, to bring good news to the poor, is actually our marching orders as followers of Jesus Christ. Each person can make a difference. Uh, it is little drops of water that chip a rock away. It is little drops of water that make an ocean. I think each person has got to identify one's niche because the greatest contribution that each person can make is to make a difference to another person's life. Sadly, as I said, we're good at making decisions, uh, very slow at implementation. Uh, but I think that the good things uh, is that there are various campaigns that have been going around, uh, make hunger history, make poverty history, the Michael Challenge, uh, the One Campaign, the whole coalition uh, against poverty in the world. And in fact, uh, I've just been having some conversations with Salil Chalti uh, that we want to mount a campaign mid uh, next year uh, because it'll be midway in terms of uh, the Millennium Development Goals. Uh, we want to call this 070707 uh, to take place uh, on the 7th of July uh, in next year to mobilize everybody uh, to focus that as a campaign to say where are we with MTGs, what can one person do, how do we move this together uh, in order to realize uh, that there are sustainable livelihoods uh, for everyone in our world today. Issues that affect people's lives uh, should be a priority and we can only do that if we take our eyes not from the terrain of battle, but lift them up uh, in terms of getting to the priorities uh, of our church. And we do well to remember uh, uh, in the words recorded by St. John uh, in his gospel that God so loved the world. He doesn't say God so loved the church. Uh, and therefore, uh, our focus is on how we witness in God's church, remembering that we are God's stewards and God has entrusted this world to us. What a blessing, what a privilege, what an honor. And therefore, at all times, we, we need to seek to be understanding uh, what is that stewardship uh, that God has called us. And above all, uh, again, Paul says this very clearly, uh, in 2 Corinthians 5.18 uh, that God reconciled us uh, to himself through the ministry of Jesus Christ and has given us uh, the ministry of recon reconciliation. And, and Paul then says that we are ambassadors uh, for Christ 
Uh, and being an ambassador for Christ, it means we must be Christ-like in what we're doing. And our actions must be measured by that and nothing less. And therefore, it's calling our church uh, to uh, the fundamentals of who, who we are as God's servants, as God's stewards, as those who are called uh, to make a difference to the people's lives.